Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to um, continue this Zoho training. Uh, you may have just come from the importing contacts training uh, that's on Blue Jeans Media. If not, you're on YouTube and you're just uh, catching up. So, what we're going to do is talk about, we're going to talk about leads and deals today. So, leads are basically um, before you get involved with a customer, you hear something on the grapevine that um, somebody wants something or you're, you know, you want someone to look into something more. Um, basically you might be, I mean, so we're talking, I do it in a security environment because I, I work with a lot of security companies. So you go for lunch with somebody and they say, hey, um, so-and-so around the corner is looking for, um, looking for some cameras, right? So I'm gonna come to my Zoho, I'm gonna go create lead. So I'm gonna go leads at the top, create lead. I'm gonna put, you know, um, what company we're gonna call it? Uh, uh, Ben's Door Company or something, right? First name, Ben Smith. If you know his email, you might not know it. You might not know anything about it. Um, and you're gonna put it in lead source. If you've got a, um, like you might put a partner, you might put in some information, you know, Ben's doors.com mobile if you know it and at the bottom you put um, Dave tells me Ben is looking for a new CCTV system and save right so that's a lead it's a grapevine thing it's a it's a um, maybe we should advertise on um, Facebook or maybe we, you know someone says they're getting more work out of this or you know they've seen something in the paper that um, I don't know if you're security you might see your corner shop got robbed is that a lead you know new lead for um, your corner shop to get a burglar alarm system or something like that anything you hear that's a lead so basically leads will just sit there until you convert them two deals so you'll go in and convert this to a deal you'll, you've you've contacted ben you've um you've or you what are your salesman has said let's let's look into this deeper so you'll create a new deal under account name uh account i don't know why it's a calculator or amount uh, <laughs> i thought it's an account so i'm you know on a cctv system we're going to say it's a 600 pound deal uh, Ben's doors closing date. We're going to do it by the end of the month. The stage is qualification because we we're going to look into um, whether they really want anything or not. The campaign source. If you clicked on it, if you've got campaign set up, this is where if it's a Yellow Pages contact or a, a Facebook a Facebook contact, you can you can tag the campaign um, to. To basically see how much money you're making off that um, off that source. So it's yellow pages. You can tag every yellow pages deal um, that that comes from yellow pages, and then you can work out whether yellow pages is worth having or not because you've tagged the deals. But we'll talk about campaigns in a different video. So now that lead's been converted to a, a con uh, to a deal, and in your deals you've now got a a sales funnel. And you can go through and edit these these um, statuses. So basically, this deals at qualification. Then you've got need analysis, value proposition, ID decision makers, proposal, negotiate, close one, close lost, close lost to competition. Right. So deals are 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 exactly that deals that you've got going on. The easiest way to create deals is to go to a contact. So I'll go, Janny. This is all test data. So. Johnny Biddy Warehouse Office and Pool. So I'm going to go to uh, Deals and I'm going to go Add a Deal. So it's going to populate that information. Uh, I'm going to put Fire Alarm, Upgrade, Amount, £4,000, Closing Date, maybe it's a bigger deal. Maybe I'll give myself two months. Type existing business or new business so you can say it's, it's a it's a current customer expected revenue that does it itself on the um on the value on the stage lead source you may or may not put um 
you may have not put anything there. Advertisement is probably um, employee referral. Maybe it's it, one of your technicians has come in and said they want a new file alarm upgrade, and you might want to track that for commission for that technician. Uh, the stage is uh, proposal. And that puts the probability up and it, that's what bumps this expected. You can set this again. So if you if you get to quote level, the probability of getting the job is 75% as, as default. Next stage, um, get a yes or no. Campaign source again, that's where you put your yellow pages. Uh, looking to upgrade fire alarm. Um, Council have said this must be done so good chance of sign off. Something like that, right? And save. So now when you go to deals, you've got you're gonna have two in there. So what I'll do is I'll just pause you while I put a load more deals in because you know you can see that. I'll, I'll run through one more with you, and then I'll then I'll put a load in. So, uh, ATC contracting. I'm going to go deal, add deal. I mean, there's all sorts of different ways to get to the same place. You can go add deal up here. You can go deals. You can add deal here, and then you'd put um, um, new gate system uh, closing closing gate amount. 8,000, uh, what was it, ATC, contracting. Stage, it's an existing customer. Probability is filled off of this. Value proposition gives you a 40% chance because you're still at early stages. And then as you go through, you'll see as you go through, ID decision-making puts that up to 60% puts that up to 75% which bumps this so you your sales funnel figure is dependent on your probability from value from the stage that it's at the further down the way um, the higher that the expected revenue is and you can edit that is if you don't like what it says um, cold call contact name obviously you've only got one so that's that one next step um, Talk to customer, see what they want. Uh, campaign source again, looking for automatic gates on the back entry. Something like that, right? Uh, at um, Smith's house, so it's a contractor, right? And save. So now you can see you, this is your deal. This is your, you're wanting to get to a thumbs up, not a thumbs down, you know. So you want to, you're getting it, you're moving it across as you go to moving towards getting a job done. You're gonna put in um, comments, emails, send an email. If you're all set up with your email, you can send an in inbox email to that customer from there. Um, you're gonna add a quote now. I don't know if this is on the free version. I'm still on the on the trial upgrade, so you can create a quote within CRM, um, but I'm not sure if it's on the free version or not. I don't use Zoho enough to uh, to know what's on the free and what's not. So now you're gonna see two two um, two deals. You're gonna see your value. If you go back to your dashboard, you're now gonna see you populating. Um, your dashboard to a to see what's closing this month to be able to jump in and see that deal. So I'm just going to go in and add a few more deals. So there's a bit more to show when I come back. As I'm as I'm adding them, I'm just seeing that a quick way to do it as well is to clone something. So if you've got a system that's um, if you've got something like a CCTV system that's a set product that's a, that's a set price, you can go in and just clone clone the CCTV system, clone the price. Change the change the um, closing date. Change the customer. You know, you know, whatever it might be. Um, let's pick something new. New England, whatever this one is. Right. Change the contact, and then you're done, really. So you can, you know, if it's a start one, you can save it. So you can do a fast clone of 
of uh, the deal so that you don't have to type in all the information at once. Thought that'd be a little bit interesting as, I've, as I'm putting loads more in, it's a quick way of doing it. Right, so I've, I've added a few more, not loads, but you know, quite a few more and you can see that I've populated that, um, my pipeline so basically again there's different places to see your pipeline so anybody you know if you're in sales you know that you've got stages that you need to get people in this this top funnel so if I go now to my home I've got a um, pipeline by stage that isn't showing pipeline by stage. so if I save that I don't know why that's saved so now I can see here's the closing this month on my deals here's my pipeline so at the top of the pipeline Qualification, throwing it in the top of the funnel, 4,000. State next stage, 8,000. Uh, proposition by quote, 6,000. And then negotiation and review, I've got 50,000 in there. So I'm trying to get down to sale, which is the bottom of a pipeline, isn't it? So if I click on it, it's going to show me that funnel broken down. So here I am at, um, at my, my basic funnel stage in the reports uh, so you may want to look for I don't know I don't think I would like to see this probability be able to change because what I would like to see it do is can I jump to that yeah so I jump to the the probability here um, it's defined by this but sometimes I would like to see it say you know you might go um, uh, the customers definitely said we're going with us once we agree on price so it, there's a 99% possibility that they're going to agree when you finally get to price but you can't add it pos pos probability at a time there may be a setting to say you can do it yourself so what I would have done then if your salesman could set their own probability you'd, you'd, go, you'd look, ones, look for ones that have got a higher probability on here and then really attack those to make sure you get them in so I'll, I'll have to look into um, whether you can change that probability or whether it's set, it would be better, I think, if you could write it yourself. Um, so what you're gonna do is, you're really gonna be sat in your deals funnel here, and you might be just looking through and going, oh, a negotiate review. Um, that one may be, um, you might go to notes and put, um, uh, Colin or Colleague talking to the board tomorrow. So we'll be closer to a decision, something like that. Save it, save it in notes. Um, you may go to so you, in your feed, you'll see, so anybody else with CCTV system, um, anybody else in your organization can see what's going off with other people's jobs. If you've set that, or set it up for them to see. So another salesman might come in and say, uh, another salesman might jump on this and say, hey Paul, I spoke with her the other day. She loved your presentation and thinks they will sign off soon. Something like that, right? So each salesman can jump on um, and and sort of give their own information so you're communicating better with your team. Uh, and, and if you're a, a managing director and you wanna see what your sales team's up to, you can see the deals that they're putting in. So the quickest way to, to move these deals, if you, you can look and go, oh, that's CCTV DVR, I've, I've actually given a quote, so I'll just drag it across. Uh, proposal price quote, negotiate review. So I've actually given them a quote. This one here, I've, I've, I'm preparing the quote. This one I've got, I've moved the quote, so I'm moving it across. Oh, that new gate system, they've actually closed and won it. Oh, that fire alarm system. Uh, they don't want. So you might actually then go, they've closed and lost this this one and go, but then put in notes, uh, decided not to upgrade uh, fire service past the building, something like that, right? Whatever it might be. So you've got, why have you lost it? And then um, 
you might want to set it up so you've got more information. Why do you lose it? Um, so you've got here. So what you've got is maybe this new gate system is lost to competition. And then you're going to put in lost on price alone. Uh, example security company gave a crazy low price whatever that might be so you say why did we lose to that competition and you might flag which company took the job from you so I think you're getting that it's a really easy way to manage your deals to drag and drop deals around move things across you know as you're working oh where am I at yes I've done that now now what do I need to do I need to um, where's our task Ta -da. I need to on that one I need to add a task attachment command. oh new task activities right new task uh, follow up follow up call when am I going to do it I'm going to do it on Friday it's a high remind me on Friday morning uh, repeat alert by email done save so now I've got a task to remind to call that one to follow up so here it is look follow up call and then you're gonna say what they did so it's a really cool really easy to delve in and start throwing your your um, your deals around so I hope that helps I hope that part of the lesson made sense as usual any questions Leave it below wherever you're watching it, um, and we'll, we'll we're going to dive deeper into campaigns and reporting, and uh, I'll find out whether that quote button should be on the free version or not. Um, and any questions, as I say, leave them below so I can give you the video. I can only I can't guess what you need, um, but I keep trying. I'll try to guess, but it's a lot better if you tell me what you stuck on with Zoho, and I will. Um, jump in and help out with, as best I can. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you're in Blue Jeans Media's training, click mark complete below and jump onto the next lesson. Cheers.